Hey, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Elizabeth, I go by Honest Liz on the internet and in today's video, I'm going to share a deeply personal journey with you, my haircut. <laughs> From long curls to short and chic. For a whole year, I grew out my hair without any haircuts, embracing my natural curls and not coloring my grays. This journey was intertwined with my personal life in ways I did not expect. Do me a favor, hit that like button right now so that the YouTube algorithm can show you more videos on this subject. And while you're here, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my new posts. I grew my hair long, hoping it would rekindle the love I sought from my husband. He always adored my long curly hair, but as time went on, I reached a breaking point. In a state of desperation, I decided to cut my hair. It felt like a powerful release, a moment of reclaiming myself. Thankfully, my story doesn't end here. With the support of my church family who counseled us, prayed for us and reminded us of the sanctity of our marriage covenant with God, my husband and I have reconciled. We are now learning to communicate better, to listen to each other's needs and it has brought us to a brand new place in our marriage. Watch till the end because I will also show you how to style short curly hair and my new styling routine which you can try whatever length that you have and see if that works for you and also gets you big voluminous curls like these. This newfound harmony in my personal life has helped me rediscover myself and express myself in different ways through my hair. And today I'm going to show you my new styling routine with my current length. So you know how we apply the curl cream or leave-in conditioner as a base. I've always done that, no change there. But the only change here is scrunching. After raking the curl cream or leave-in conditioner through my hair, I start scrunching my hair. This is new for me because in the past, I was not scrunching my hair at all because my hair was brittle. But now, with the bond treatments and the hair masks and the protein treatments and the, all those yummy treatments that I'm giving my new color treated hair, my hair actually feels very strong and I'm very excited to scrunch it through. And I find that doing this actually helps the curl cream or the leave-in conditioner to saturate in my hair. Speaking of saturation, I just put all of my hair back in the shower cap. Now this is especially useful if you have thick coarse hair like mine. It takes a little bit for the products to absorb in thick hair. So after trying this Bounce Curl Moisture Balance Leave-In Conditioner oh, many many times, this is like my third tube, I have found that it works best for my hair if I apply it and keep it in a shower cap for at least 5 minutes and let it saturate and absorb in my hair and then my hair is so juicy, I cannot wait to show you the results. Next, I divide my hair into sections and I finger coil them in different sections. Now finger coiling is very, very important for me, especially now that my hair is cut. It needs to know that how, how to curl back again and just easy methods like raking and scrunching doesn't work for me. So if you have thick and coarse hair like mine, then try finger coiling your hair. So after smoothing down, the cuticles with a brush I would take really really tiny sections and I would finger coil them like this make sure you go at least four five times around twirling and then scrunch again maybe I won't finger coil the back so much because you know let's face it who cares because <laughs> can't really see the back so it's fine but it's important to do at least the front parts 
especially the ones around your face so if you don't have like the five six minutes to finger coil your whole head you could spend one minute or two finger coiling the face framing pieces okay. it's easier for me if I hold the whole chunk like this and then finger coil then I know that okay which ones are done which ones are not done Finally, I'll apply the gel. This is the Bounce Curl Light Hold Cream Gel to hold my curls together. So this is the first dollop. Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, and I'm scrunching it in. not afraid of scrunching the second dollop of gel for this side smooth 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 I love that this gel has black seed oil and it naturally makes my hair look darker than usual and it also has a lot of protein so if your hair does not like protein and if you're using a gel with high protein then it may not be a good fit but if you have color treated hair like mine then naturally you need more protein to keep up with the curl pattern and the health of your hair also if your hair is limp then you need a gel like this So that is my two dollops. I'm not taking any more because I took extra. So what if you do try the styling technique and it just does not work for you? So that's okay too because sometimes maybe, just maybe, you have the wrong hair products. So if you're looking for hair products, definitely check out my products guide. It's so easy. It makes it easy for you to pick products based on your texture, on your hair type and also <laughs> The region where you are whether you're in india or in us or uk so this is my styled hair with my new curly hair routine for my short hair i first use the leave-in conditioner and scrunch it in after raking first and then i finger coil so you can style however you want to if you use a brush go ahead if you just like to scrunch your hair you can do that so cream then style and then gel and scrunching that in again so that is my new routine this is my hair styled and this is how it looks completely dry these results are one of my best so far and I've cut my hair at about two months now this entire experience has been like rediscovering my curls all over again it's okay to change your mind, to evolve, to try new things. Our curly hair journey can be like life itself, unexpected twists and turns, but that's okay. If you're inspired by my journey and ready to go on your own, then go ahead and book my one-on-one -on -one consultation. I also offer virtual haircuts. With over four years of hands-on cutting experience, as a curly hair stylist and eight years of cutting my own hair i know a thing or two of cutting your hair on your own so i can guide you we can get on a video call and i can guide you to cut your hair in the shape that you need and the one that suits your face and your texture so if you don't have a curly hair stylist near you you don't have a curly coach near you or anyone who you can trust to cut your curly hair or coach you with curly hair products and routines then you know who to call <laughs> honestly I only take about one or two clients per week I'm not doing this for the business of it it's just for the love of it and that's why I don't want you to wait or don't want you to buy new products before you go through a consultation with me first thank you for joining me on this journey and I'll see you next Sunday